Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's upload is going to be all about my stick insects. Cause I got some exciting news and some new additions, so let's take a look. The first ones we're going to take a look at are my Megacrania batesii, or peppermint stick insects, which I have owned for a while and have already featured in a couple of videos. And here you can see my two now adult females, and is it just me or does it look like one of them is acting a little bit hyperactive and the other one seems to be a tad embarrassed by it? It really looks like one of them is having an absolute banger of a time and the other one, uh, she looks like she'd rather be on the other side of the planet. And then we have this little fella. This is a male, easily identifiable by his smaller size and proportionally longer wings. These rather strange stick insects come from North Queensland, and they graze on plants in the genus Pandanus, which have very tough and often rather spiky leaves, so going out to harvest their food is not the most anticipated activity on my schedule. And of course there are major benefits to being able to feed on something that most other herbivores couldn't, and that is greatly reduced competition. And now the male is having a wander on my newly completed painting. Mate, you want to learn some manners or you're going to get yourself kicked out of an art gallery sometime in the future. Artworks are a no-touching zone. And yes, there's also one walking on my camera as well. Now you could argue that this was all my fault for not remembering to move the painting out of the way in the first place, and you'd be right. But it turns out that the painting is actually making a very good backdrop for filming, so I'm just going to leave it there and say that it was my plan all along. I don't know if it's just me, but there has always been something about the clumsy way that stick insects walk with their legs waving up in the air, that just seems so endearing. Admittedly it makes them look like they're drunk, but still, I like it. Stick insects as a group are generally known for their camouflage, which is among the most impeccable in the animal kingdom. But Megacrania are definitely a good deal flashier than some of their relatives, but you can afford to stand out when you got a secret weapon up your sleeve that no one would suspect. If you startle one of these insects, then you may very well find yourself getting sprayed at with a liquid that has a very powerful peppermint odour. That liquid is for the most part harmless to humans, although it is not something that you'd want to get into your mouth or eyes. But for a smaller predator like a spider, it can be a major deterrent. And these insects' vivid coloration, which is so atypical of stick insects, helps to serve as a warning. Now, if you recall from the beginning of this video, I did say I had some exciting news. And yes, there is going to be more to the Megacrania than just showing them off while flexing my painting skills as well. And that is the fact that they have been getting down to a bit of business. Here we have the male and female playing a game of piggyback, except it is the adult X-rated form of piggyback. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's the form of piggyback that is not for kids in the sense that it's played by kids, but for kids in the sense that it's for making kids. Anyway, let's move on from that extremely awkward lead up. In mature pairs of Megacrania batesii, the male will spend most of the time clinging to a female's back, even when they are not actually engaged in the mating process. This presumably is a way to prevent other males from mating with his female. So if you're going to complain about your spouse being clingy, then just imagine yourself as a female megacrania and put your suffering into perspective. Female stick insects do not care for their young very much. And by not very much, I mean they just really don't seem to give a shit about them. Their eggs just drop to the ground. Out of sight, out of mind, bye bye. My two females, both of which have mated, 
have begun to lay eggs, at the moment only in small amounts, but that should be increasing as time goes on. And I have to say that sifting through their uh, droppings in search of eggs is kind of like a very crappy version of a treasure hunting game. And by crappy I of course mean it in the most literal sense. So we're done with the Megacrania for this video. Now it's time to take a look at my newest additions. These very bizarre stick insects are Cigarophasma tessellata. And they're all juveniles as well, so they have a fair bit of growing to do. In terms of physical appearance, Cigarophasma are a whole lot more cryptic than Megacrania. And that's pretty understandable seeing as they don't have a secret chemical weapon. For them, along with many stick insects, Camouflage is their first and last line of defence, so it needs to be effective. And it's not just the way they look that hides them, but how they walk. This strange swaying motion obscures the animal's movement and heightens its resemblance to an inanimate object blowing in the wind. And now these two look like they're starring in some sort of silent film. Gotta say guys, you got some natural talent for theatre there. You may even be able to bring that genre back into relevance. So with the Cigarophasma not being too keen on anything apart from sitting around and posing, I think we might as well end this video. I would like to add that I am uh, kind of in the thick of it as far as uni assessment goes, which is why a lot of my recent videos have been fairly short. But once my finals are over, I should be getting into the juicy stuff once more. Anyway, I would be very keen to hear what you thought about this video in the comments below. And if you enjoy my uploads, then feel free to check out some of my other uploads, and of course hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you all very much for watching, that is it from me, and I shall see you again very soon.